we have Mr. Gaurav Dagaonkar, CEO and co-founder Hooper.ai to please uh, share exclusive insights on making music licensing easy with Hooper.ai. That's an interesting session that we all are waiting for, yes? Uh, I know I only have about 5 to 10 minutes, so um, nonetheless, I would like all of you to watch a video uh, for about 30 seconds. So Vibhas, if you could just play this video and then we'll talk a little bit about Hoopa and music licensing. देखो जी बचपन से सुनते आए थे हम कि जिस चीज पे आपका हक नहीं होता ना उसको इस्तेमाल नहीं करना चाहिए वो चीज आपको फलती नहीं है लेकिन जवानी में आके ना हमने एक वीडियो बनाया 20 अगस्त 2019 में और वो वीडियो था अमृतसरी छोले का और उसमें हमने यूज कर लिया म्यूजिक जिस पे हमारा कोई हक नहीं था तो इस वजह से आज तीन साल बाद हमको अमृतसरी छोले दोबारा बनाने पड़ रहे हैं मॉडल ऑफ द स्टोरी ये है कि जो भी बचपन में सिखाया जाता था उसको याद रखना चाहिए वरना ऐसे ही एक एक रेसिपी दो बार बनानी पड़ेगी और कोई ना कोई कॉपीराइट क्लेम कर देगा ठीक है जी शुरू करें कॉपीराइट क्लेम यू नो देर आर टू रीजन वाई आई रियली लव दिस वीडियो वन आई डोंट थिंक एनी बडी एक्सप्लेन्स थिंग्स एज क्लियरली एंड ब्यूटिफुली एज दिस मैन रणवीर ब्राड Two, I think it's a fantastic ad for music licensing. And no, we didn't make this video. This is actually from his YouTube channel. It's a video called Amrit Sari Chole, but I personally love it. And in fact, I'm thinking of approaching Ranveer to be able to use this because I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, you know, music licensing is something which scares everybody. The moment this word licensing comes in, especially in India, log bahut dar jaate hain. Licensing scares people, but at its heart. licensing is nothing but getting a permission to use a piece of music legally for whatever purpose you want to use it and in the case of hooper we are just making licensing really simple for the purpose of sync and using music in your content so if you can move ahead since all of you all are from the content space either as creators or as part of platforms it won't come as a surprise that boss today everybody is using music in literally everything that you're creating right be it a vlog that a content creator is making a travel vlog an unboxing vlog on youtube uh broadcast and ott traditionally have always been using music be it fiction be it non fiction today they're using it on digital they're using it for marketing purposes podcast and audio books you know we just heard people on the panel say that they're creating a lot of content go back and listen to your favorite podcast there is an intro theme there is music that's underlying the scenes there's music that's used in metaverse productions there is live streams uh there's live commerce so a lot of people are using influencers now to create videos to promote their brands and sell products and finally there's television commercials radio you know and content across the spectrum that uses music and that's where we come in because what a lot of people really do not understand is you know thankfully a lot of people do but some don't that when you use music depending upon the way you want to use it depending upon the format depending upon the platform and depending upon how you want to monetize it you will need a license for the music that you want to use so hooper is coming in in this particular space since you would have created content there are three to four pain points that i'm sure all of you are familiar with The first is that you really find it difficult to get good Indian music that you can license for your videos. And I'm not talking about the the stereotypical tabla, sitar and you know what western people think of India. It's a music that we actually listen to, you know, let's say Punjabi music, hip hop, you know, pop that's playing on the radio. That's one. Two is the legal issues that you might face if you use music which you do not have the license for. you know we were sitting with a broadcaster a couple of days back absolutely leading broadcaster in india and he said that gorov a few of my shows are literally like ticking time bombs for me because i know that the music used in these shows by an editor maybe 3 or 4 years back does not have the requisite permissions and trust me when i tell you that a lot of so called royalty free platforms or platforms where you think that music is free they would really have a lot of layers that could get you in trouble 
sometimes music is cleared only for the promos and your team used it in the show sometimes music is cleared only for a certain territory and now you plan to syndicate it to the rest of the world or on other platforms sometimes music is meant only for a certain platform and you want to put it up on you know few different formats a friend of mine who was running a startup a couple of years ago literally had to pull down his startup from google play because his platform was a ugc platform and they has they had used music from a large record label and the mandate was very clear either you take down the platform itself from google play or pay us 20 crore right now for the music that you've used and the damage had already been done so there were almost 11000 videos that had those songs right so either they take them down or they take the platform so there are a lot of perils of using music just thinking yaar ye to free hai ye maine dal diya mere editor ne use kar liya and that's where hooper comes in the other thing is you know everybody today has a responsibility of reducing production costs um some people try to get around by having a few people in house or maybe getting music custom made which we all know is quite expensive it's time consuming kabhi kabhi ek gana banane mein lakhon lag jate hain sometimes it can cost tens of lakhs even a small track may cost you 30 40 50 000 to make right so it's time consuming and you don't get a great variety so that's another problem that people face and ultimately you want to tell better stories right you want to use music that enhances your visual that enhances your scenes just take the case of a youtube blogger who's creating let's say a travel vlog to udaipur you know dosto main aaj aapko udaipur ke lakes dikhaunga ya chhatrapati shivaji maharaj ke kile dikhaunga and then the music that plays is some generic future bass you know and you would have seen that and it it just kills it just doesn't enhance the scene i think one of the best use cases on hooper one of our regular users is ashish vidyarthi uh, in his last vlog it was a vlog where he is missing uh, you know his his hometown and he he used a song from hooper called ja rahe ho to the right music can actually enhance your scene right so these are the pain points that people in the industry face and with that you know with with an intent of being the solution to these problems we've gone ahead and built hooper which is india's largest marketplace and platform now for licensing indian music of course not just indian you also get western music but ultimately the need for a lot of indian creators and platforms is indian music uh we have thousands of back uh, backing tracks background scores songs sfx we think of ourselves as a music tech platforms as a music tech platform and we are backed by investors like nine unicorns venture catalysts inflection point ventures and a lot of angel investors and over the last one year we've created a library that is absolutely comprehensive and can be used by your platform to soundtrack the content that you're creating uh we we like to think of ourselves as a platform that's made by musicians for creators uh the music on hooper is beautifully tagged and categorized so you will find music across different moods you know happy sad romantic uh, a lot of people like to search for music using moods so music on hooper is tagged across moods uh there are of course genres so let's say the popular genres like say a lo-fi hip hop punjabi they're all there but we also have a lot of folk a lot of indian folk so let's say bundelkhandi you know i spoke about maharashtrian folk we recently uh, tied up with this event called ifp the the indian film project and there were almost 48 to 50 films that used hooper music and in fact i think out of the top 5 there were three films that used some of the folk music on hooper and you got to check it out the url is hooper.ai but i think one of the the categories which we're quite proud of is the use cases uh typically when we use music we love to just see the use case you know what is the right music for travel what is the right music for creating an unboxing video or let's say a podcast on mental health what kind of music do i use for a podcast on mental health actually you know so things like uh, like this um you could also use search and you could search for indian keywords so let's say you search for holi uh, you know holi is coming up you might want to search for judai you might want to search for barish ishq so previously in all of these international platforms typically the results would be you know nothing is found when you search for stuff like that but now whether it's hindi whether it's indian regional keywords you'll find a lot of music on hooper across all of these categories and then of course there's sound effects so be it uh, you know banaras 
uh, or be it uh, a, a Bangalore marketplace, a college festival in Mumbai, a crowded railway station. We've got music for all of these. Our team has actually gone out with shotgun mics and the best quality gear and has recorded a lot of music. There's also a lot of synthesized sound effects that are there in this part. So more than 3000 sound effects on the platform. Uh, you know, we like to think of the music on Hooper like a superpower. Uh, you know, imagine, and we like to call it Hooper power, right? Where the music is 100% copyright safe. So everything on Hooper is either owned by us or completely administered by us. So if you use it in your videos, you don't have to worry about any takedown, any copyright claim, any lawsuit. Uh, the music is 100% syndication safe as well. So if you syndicate your content tomorrow on other platforms, you're absolutely cleared. It's cleared for worldwide usage. So again, no worries. You know, you're, you're putting out a show which is in India. You're now putting it out in Africa. You don't have to open it up and then replace the music. The music is completely cleared. It's cleared not just for a year or five years. It's cleared for perpetuity. And trust me, this is really, really important because a lot of labels will give you a three-year clearance or a five-year year clearance. Sometimes it's just a one-year clearance. And funda ye hota hai ki ye clearance to de dete hain ek do saal ka. Uske baad when you go back to them, the rates are hiked. There was a friend of mine who created a, a tutorial platform and they, they were creating dance tutorials. They made the mistake of using film songs for the first year. And they also syndicated that content on numerous other platforms because they wanted to monetize it. The problem was that after a year when they went back to that label, the rates were 3x of what was charged in year one. So literally when, you, when you've already created a lot of content and syndicated it, clearance for perpetuity matters a lot. Of course, let's say if you have a one year subscription, the only caveat is you need to publish your content within that year. It's cleared for perpetuity after that. It's cleared for the metaverse. So tomorrow, if you're putting up your content on the metaverse or any of the Web3, you know, it's a Web3 production, you can use the music there. It's also cleared for live commerce. So, you know, if you're working with the likes of a firework or a BeLive or, you know, you're using influencers to create videos, you might want to use Hooper Music there. Uh, you know, somebody just mentioned Sadhguru and uh, interestingly, I don't know if you all know this, he was doing a live stream some time back and it was blocked. It was blocked worldwide and there was a lot of hue and cry and at the end of it, what turned out to be was there was a copyright claim on one of the tracks and, you know, that, that resulted in a blockage for about eight or nine minutes and, you know, everybody right across the head of YouTube had to fix it. So live streams is also something that is, that has clearance. And finally, for any of you who are running, you know, UGC platforms or let's say internet radio stations where there's UGC and user generated content, we also have an API integration where your users can use our music to soundtrack the content that they are creating on your platform, right? And within the context of your platform, so be it, you know, video editing, audio editing, live commerce or anything on the context, in the context of your platform, the music is cleared. Um, at this moment, I'll just like to, you know, play you a couple of songs just to show the diversity. There's a song by this artist I really like uh, called Mame Khan. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a humongous volume of tracks on Hooper. You should really go check it out. We're now working on a very, very large library for just the South. Uh, you know, there are artists, artists from the Northeast. There are artists from Jammu and Kashmir. There's a beautiful story of an artist who actually goes around West Bengal asking for arms and he creates music and we've also got artists like that on Hooper. So it's a very, very huge collection. This is of course more of the electro folk and classical folk music. So we went live in August, you know, we're Jan end right now. We went live in August and we have close to 75,000 Indian creators who are already using it. Some of India's top creators, you know, be it Gaurav Kapoor, Rashish Vidyarthi, Tanya Khanijov, people with millions of followers are now using Hooper. Uh, and we aim to add a lot more to this, you know, going forward, we, we've already realized what content platforms and content creators need. So, you know, be it stems, uh, be it tools to find the right track. We've got a lot of data. So we understand, let's say, what kind of music should be used for an Indian travel vlog. And let's say what kind of music would work for a travel vlogger in the north of India versus, say, in the east of India. What kind of music would work for fashion and lifestyle? If you're doing a live, you know, video commerce campaign where you're selling a kurti, what kind of music would probably work uh, in, in, you know, shifting the consumer's mindset? If you're creating an audio book, what kind, you know, audio book, what kind of music would work, say, for a sports uh, podcast or an audio book versus something which is more fiction? 
if you're creating something in regional say rajasthani haryanvi what kind of music would work and again i would just request you to go and check out the platform and and indulge on it uh, we also have a large number of brands some of india's leading broadcasters have started using hooper we had zivame use one of our tracks for an influencer campaign and by the way let me tell you if your brand is running an influencer campaign in which you're paying the macro influencers and your micro and nano please be sure you're paying for the music as well it is absolutely a mistake to think that the music is free and public property and you're creating a massive campaign around it you know we had uh, flipkart use one of our tracks uh, called winter vargi to promote their warm clothing uh, category we had cadbury five star license a track sung by nikita gandhi it was called single single and uh, that had anushka sen that did extremely well there was a viral campaign uh, and of course there are several other brands nestle and a lot more that have been using tracks people from our music community have created tracks for a lot of films web shows you know be it the title track of a your honor be it shows across netflix prime uh, you know all balaji lot of these platforms have used music created by the kind of musicians who have created music for hooper going forward we plan to integrate a lot more generative tools we plan to integrate a lot more ai to make sure that you know you find the music that you're looking for and as i said you know the music is syndication safe copyright safe cleared worldwide cleared for perpetuity cleared for all your use cases so that's what we call hooper powered and really really excited to get your brand and your platform hooper powered thank you so much if there are any questions anybody has around the platform or music licensing in the context of audio video in general would be really happy to share and my team himanshu vibhas abhinav myself shanaya we are all here uh, would love to connect as i said we are having some of india's leading brands short format apps podcast apps audio books who are now subscribing we have three different types of subscription so there's individual creators there's brands and then there is platforms and enterprises uh, would be very happy to sort of meet you offline and understand how we can work with your platform pieces of music are you adding uh, at at what frequency are you uh, expanding your catalog so there are two parts to our catalog the first part, uh, part of the catalog is music that is uh, you know not just owned by us but also licensed by us which is completely pre cleared for usage we have about 25000 tracks across indian and western genres on the platform about 4 and a half thousand sound effects as of today uh, we are adding about 350 original tracks every single month if we count the stems which are you know let's say your drums vocals guitars separately we might be adding close to about 1500 tracks individual tracks every single month and we are also adding about 1500 licensed tracks month on month on month on the platform are you open to partnerships with other platforms like his songdium He's as long a, as as long as they are paying us yeah i'm open to it no 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 in terms of they have independent musicians <laughs> and they'd like you to to you to further propagate that music no no nil i was only kidding in fact uh, very very open and uh, songdu has do done some fantastic work so one of the the you know i would say mission that we have is to enable musicians to have their music licensed legally by brands and by creators and uh, very very happy to partner with songdu very happy to partner with platforms here who have a large library of tracks uh, you know i'd just like to share an example you know when we did the flipkart license uh, this was a content creator from chandigarh uh, a, a new relatively new but talented creator called supernova and when his track got licensed he got about 75000 rupees for that particular one and i i make sure i mention this number because he actually called me directly and i said and he told me that gorav i have not earned this money from streaming platforms put together in the last 3 years and the best part about this entire bit was i didn't have to leave chandigarh i didn't have to pitch to anybody i just gave hooper the track and one fine day i just see that the track is used by flipkart i get money in my account and now i can go to the market and say that mera gana flipkart ne use kiya so there is a lot of positives that come here and anybody who's on the same mission as we are very happy to partner thank you for that and it happens that indian audio in an indian audio summit that's what it happens we make partnerships happen thank you for agreeing to that thank you my pleasure thank you so much everybody thank you